Hi, today's lecture is about the anatomy of the skull. So let's get into it. The first bone we're going to look at is the frontal bone, nasal bone, maxilla, jaw bone is also called the mandible. This area of the skull is called the orbit. Now there's some holes that are supposed to be here on both sides. They're not very prominent. You see a little tiny speck here, uh, but they're supposed to be prominent like this. These holes are here and these ones here. Anywhere you see a hole on the skull is going to be called a foramen. And this particular foramen, because it's right above the orbit, we call it the supraorbital foramen. You just have to go with me here. Just imagine two little holes right here. Uh, typically nerves or you know different things can go through these holes but mostly nerves uh, so supraorbital foramen the holes below the orbit infraorbital foramen and then the bottom two are called the mental foramen uh, i know this is the mandible but for some reason someone decided to call this the mental foramen instead of the mandibular foramen so make sure you don't call it the mandibular foramen and you do in fact call it the mental foramen Turning the skull a little bit to the side, we see the cheekbone, also known as a zygomatic bone. Uh, from this angle, we can see the ear canal right here, called the external auditory meatus or external acoustic canal. Right behind it, we have the mastoid process. And this little pointy little area is called the styloid process looks like a stylus like a stylus pen if it helps you remember uh, coming back to the top of the skull we have the frontal bone parietal bone temporal bone and the base of the skull is called the occipital bone now there's four bones at the top we just mentioned and then there's also four sutures of the skull First one is the lamboidal suture on the back side. At the top, you see the sagittal suture or mid sagittal suture because it's running right down the middle. Uh, here we have the squamosal suture. And the last one we have is the coronal suture. Now, just a little interesting point anywhere where the two sutures come together typically are where you will see uh, soft spots on the baby and these give rise to words called the uh, anterior fontanelle or fontanelle which are just fancy way of saying soft spots so uh, there's one right there let me turn this guy around might be another one here here's two sutures coming together another fontanelle there and another one here so these are the areas you have to be really careful uh, when the baby's growing because these are the areas that are kind of exposed. So you definitely don't want any kind of poking over there in that area because you can get right to the brain and that can be pretty um, complicated. So this kind of sums up the anatomy of the skull. Actually, I forgot one little hole opening right here. Another foramen. This is called the foramen magnum and this is where the spinal cord is going to come, uh, come out. All right, I think that's about it. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out.